Hello, it's David here, and um, I'm slightly late this week on the vlog, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna miss it. So, here it is. It's probably gonna be Tuesday morning by the time this is on YouTube. So, um, hello! Um, what's happened the last week? Well, I've been working on, from the last video that I did last week, the, the talking about how game engines work, I'm redoing that, uh, so please disregard that video, unless you found it interesting. In which case, you could still disregard it. But anyways, um, no, I'm redoing the video, and it's going to be like a, a, a 3D CGI'd engine visualization, and um, you'll be able to be taken through the sort of core basics and the core framework of a game engine, and how it works, and stuff like that. And I was going to try and get it done for Saturday, but obviously that hasn't worked, because I decided to use Cycles um, as the renderer, because it looks nicer. But it takes like 15 minutes to render a frame and there's like probably about 10,000 actually yeah no not that much it's probably about 1500 frames the total video will be about 10,000 frames but the frames that I have to render are about 1500 but I have two computers here that are rendering and working tirelessly to try and get that done as fast as possible I was gonna put it on the, the, the renderfirm.fi website for Blender but I mean the render queue is like 11 days and I would calculated that it would take about 6 days to render it if I used my computer so I mean yeah it's faster but sorry about the dog barking Let's just close that window um, it would it would it would just be shorter if I just rendered it myself so um, that's that uh, second thing is a uh, game engine I'm working on um, it's it's proving to be quite difficult not that I um, expected it not to be but um, I've had to rewrite the entire rendering system because uh, a friend of mine on Twitter um, told me that all the code that I'd written for the graphics rendering was depreciated and uh, need to do it again. So that's been kind of kind of annoying, considering that getting the new OpenGL stuff to work has been next to impossible. But you know, I'm getting there. Also, I've rewritten the basic system of the engine, so if you know what I'm talking about here, um, it can now be a static library or a dynamic library. Uh, you know, if you if you if you've ever seen a a DLL on a computer or next to a game, that's a dynamic library. That's where the engine will be kept. But I've also made it an option so that it can be a static library as well. I made it be be able to be both, and a static library just builds into the EXE of the game, so you can't really see it. Um, but the dynamic library is cool because uh, different programs can share the same uh, the same file uh, of that. Anyways, uh, what else is there? Um, oh yeah, in my uh, tireless uh, search to make my engine as cross-platform as possible, I've I've come across some interesting things. I've currently I've covered I have Windows, Mac, and Linux. It works fine on using SDL uh, to do windowing and events and stuff. Um, and then for iOS, I'm going to drop SDL for iOS and use the engine C++ code and remove the SDL stuff and replace it with the iPods or the iPhone, I, whatever, iOS's um, native sort of calls for touch input and stuff. And the same for, for Android. Um, and what else? Oh yeah, so I have, I have, I have uh, Windows, Mac, uh, Windows, Mac, Linux iOS, Android, hopefully, and the last thing that um, was a challenge for me to try and work out, and this is what I've been thinking of and sort of designing over the last week, was web, um, and that's difficult. I have I have three options. I have Adobe Flash, which is very very difficult to do because uh, basically Adobe Flash does not take any native code, as in C++, so the entire engine would have to be converted into uh, into action script which is what unity have done but I mean I don't have the time to do that and that's one mighty load of work um, actually it's not that bad I'm over exaggerating um, but I'm not a huge fan of flash myself if I'm honest I think it's kind of on its last legs um, and the software the flash software is kind of expensive so actually converting the code isn't it isn't it isn't too hard, but I just I, I don't want to do flash because yeah. 
Um, so my other two options are a, a, a plug-in, which is what uh, the Unity web player is, and I've been studying how they how they work, um, and they're basically a DLL uh, written with C++ that the, the, the web browser loads whenever content is required. But what I haven't figured out how what to do yet is how the content should be distributed. Uh, that's kind of a challenge for me. I haven't kind of worked it out. But that's on the table. Obviously, if I used a plug-in with C++ code into it, it would be very, very fast. It would be the fastest uh, the web third player would be. It would be faster than Flash as well. Uh, but my other option, which I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking this idea. Yes, uh, the engine will take a performance hit for this, but this is kind of cool. What I'm about to say is to use this, uh, um, this C++ to JavaScript converter that I found. I forget what it's called. I think it's called M script and something. Someone will correct me. Um, but using this, I convert the engine to JavaScript. Uh, slim it down a bit and basically have HTML5 games um, put out by the engine so you can make your game make your game in the engine and click a button and it will convert all the code into JavaScript and output an HTML5 game um, powered by the engine which I think is kinda cool because as far as I know all the HTML5 game engines at the moment are they don't have any like editors or anything like that so Depending how quickly I can get this done, and I'm talking six months to a year, um, we could be the first fully featured HTML5 game engine with an editor and everything, uh, physics, graphics, all built in. But I mean, even that doesn't come with uh, doesn't come with ease, because for the hardware accelerator rendering, we'd have to use a version of OpenGL called WebGL which is not supported in all the browsers. It's supported in Firefox and Chrome and all the Firefox based browsers but it's not supported in Internet Explorer i.e. which, um, which kinda sucks um, so I don't know what I ha I'd have to do there and I mean not using, considering the, the box 2D physics would take a performance hit from being used in, in, in JavaScript having the graphics take a performance hit from not being done on the graphics card as well may slow it down to a unusable speed I don't know some experiments some experiments are gonna have to be done but I think um, having the engine scales engine output HTML5 um, HTML5 games is a really really cool prospect but I think in the end depending on how much time I have it's gonna be I'm gonna do the I'm gonna try out the JavaScript and do some experiments on the JavaScript first but I'd like to have the HTML5 and the web player as well, uh, even though I don't quite know how the web player works yet. Um, I'd like to have the web player as well, because obviously the web player is going to be a heck of a lot faster and it's going to work in in, um, in Internet Explorer. So I just like to have both, just so that there's the option of um, you know the option of, uh, of of both, depending on the player or the developer wants to have the fast speeds of the web player or the convenience of no plugins because you're using HTML5. I don't know. Uh, you can leave some comments down below on what you think on the subject. Obviously I wouldn't talk about it online if I didn't need your input. So please tell me what you think. HTML5 versus a plugin um, versus Internet Explorer slash Microsoft being idiots not supporting uh, OpenGL, WebGL in the browsers because Microsoft they just yeah even even like like um, the the browser plugin API which I think is called NP API or the Netscape plugin API that's not even supported in Internet Explorer Internet Explorer has its own plugin thing called ActiveX and there that would have to be included as well it's just Microsoft being annoying but anyways I think the video is coming to an end now so um, thank you for watching uh, leave your thoughts in the comments below and like and subscribe and everything else that people say at the end of a YouTube video. Anyways, bye for now.